Sorry about that. Uh, okay, I'm back, and um, I guess restarting the stream did the trick. Uh, everything looks like it's running smoothly now. I haven't dropped a single frame. Uh, okay then. Well, next time that happens, I know to shut everything down and restart it, and hopefully that is the case, and not that someone else in the house is using bandwidth and fucking my stream over somehow. Uh, cool. So, let's just pick this up from here. We're 40 minutes into it now, but whatever. Mr. Driller's not a game we need a full three hours for. Uh, and I could go a little later if I need to to get this to two and a half. Uh, so, we're back with Mr. Driller, Drill Land. Uh, I am continuing my level three crusade here, which... You know, knowing this game probably won't go too well. So far, I think the only one I've cleared is, uh... Yeah, Horror Night House. So, still got a ton of this left. Uh, I did get um, a couple more things off stream, though. I, fr I farmed out the last card that I was missing here. Professor Cory Gucci. An authority on geology and underground archaeology, he sometimes has Susumu help with excavations. Just the other day, the professor made global headlines when he uncovered the ruins of Droll Dorado. Excavation is still underway. Anyway, um, and I got this, too. I think I got a... Um, I got one of the figures that I didn't have yet. Yeah, I got this one, the pact clear bacteria figure. I only had the action figures and the toys, and the metal figures. And I did buy, a, I bought a few more items just to try them out. It turns out you could still farm bits with the items, so it's actually, especially for a star driller, it's quicker to use that item, because that item makes you drill faster. And you don't have to upgrade it, which is nice. Uh, anyway, let's just, uh, make sure everything sounds good. Let's just, uh, make sure everything sounds good. Yep. Okay. Alright, we're back in business here. Uh, cool. Alright, so, uh, what do I start with tonight? Um, I don't want to do Draga until the end, because it's going to be the worst one. Uh, we could start with some, uh, World Drill Tour, just because it's standard driller. Go on a digging trip, meeting all sorts of folk and undergrounders as you go. Group to the Drill Land theme as you visit 20 countries. Oh yeah, something else I forgot to mention. Um, apparently, I thought you had to beat all of level 3 for this, but apparently just beating level 3 of one attraction unlocks uh, Usagi in World Drill Tour. He's uh, Ataru's pet alien who looks like a rabbit. Uh, he has like He's like a super advanced character, and as well as an easy mode character. He has, like, all the abilities of all the, of the other drillers. He can... Well, not all the abilities, but he has a, a lot of abilities. So he can jump up two blocks like Poochie can. He moves fast like Hori. He digs fast like, uh... Or he moves fast like Ataru. He digs fast like Taizo. And he also has the Tri-Drill, which allows him to hit three blocks at once. Actually, you know what? Oh, fuck. Anyone else to take me out of it? Let me show it off. Let me show him off in level one, just because he's so cool. He's definitely not for clearing out levels, though. He is very, very hard to use. Just because of... This. Wait. So he's above three. All three of them are gone. Two. Both gone. Gone. So he hits diagonally from whatever direction he's looking in as well. Um, which also means he hits... Like, that hit that top round block. The upside is if he breaks more than one brown block at a time, he only loses the 20 air. He doesn't lose... Uh, 40. And he could climb up two blocks like a uh, Hoochie can. And other than that, he's quick. So he's a great character if you can use him well. If you can't use him well, then uh, it's a bit of a hard time. I'm, I'm just so happy that the stream got resolved. I don't know what caused that issue. But hey, it's it's all good now. We're good. I I think you know what it is? I think that there was other people there were other people in the house using bandwidth. And that's kinda shitty that one other person's gonna drop my stream down to nothing. Um, but hopefully it won't be an issue. That's why I stream so late. No one else is up. 
so I don't have to worry about them sucking up the bandwidth. That and I work, so... Work's been, uh, been okay lately. Nothing to really write home about. It pays the bills. And I mean, I, I guess I care about the job enough that, like, you know, I want to do a good job, obviously. I could easily just coast and say, like, oh, whatever. I don't know how long I'd desire working there, but I'll, I will say that I'm, I'm in no hurry to leave. Okay, wait, let me show this. Like, if I... Yeah, you only lose 20 for breaking two. Pretty cool. His air depletion doesn't seem to be that fast. But then again, this is the easy level, so what do I know? Also, I'm aware that I can clear level 3 with just items, but it's like, well, what's the point then? I've gotten this far in the game, why am I going to start relying on them now? That said, uh, I did mention before that I was considering doing an any percent speed run of this game. And the item for Star Drill that makes you dig faster would probably be very helpful. It's only, only that mode gets that item. Uh, Drindy gets an item that lets you move faster, which could be helpful, but in any percent where it's only five sections, it's not really going to be worth the time to get it. Especially since I'd have to scroll past the, the attraction to get to it. Yeah, not bad. Unfortunately, that's as easy as the stream is going to get. Hydrating up. I've been feeling kind of weird lately. Not sick, but just like... Eh. Like... Mentally ungood. Ungood? <laughs> mentally and kind of physically, but like, I just feel like crap because I feel like, you know, maybe I'm sleeping too much. Who knows? Okay, so here's level three. Uh, I've shown this off before, but yeah, it's 15 blocks wide, so... Half the size of the other one. Or half the... Half the height. Big. Half the big. Twice the big. Whatever. It's twice as big. But, uh... Everything's half the size. I shouldn't be using Taizo for this, but hey, whatever. I'm just gonna skip trying to get all the air because it's really not gonna be possible in this mode. I say as I then go out of my way to get air. Obviously, the wider stuff also makes it harder to, like, anticipate where you're going. Or anticipate what's going to fall above you. Just because you have way more columns to keep track of here. Taizo, don't do that. Also, one of the best Mr. Driller songs right here. I've probably said that in a previous stream, but it's it's the truth. It's the absolute truth. Whoop! Yes. 
factory of the underground. The thing is, too, the, the air is so split apart that it might be uh, harder to get, which means it's harder to maintain a high uh, air meter. And of course, with Taizo in general, he uses up more air to begin with, so... I believe I was using Horinger Z last time I tried this. What was my record for this? It was like 1600, 1700. Unfortunately, it doesn't keep a record of the depth, it only keeps a record of the actual score. finished David Bowie's uh, discography today, finally, after like a month of straight listening. Uh, it was, you know, as you probably expect, very good. You know, David Bowie's amazing. Um, there were definitely some downs, like down points to his discography where I was just like, eh, it's okay, I guess. Um, but overall, I had a lot of fun listening to it. Um, definitely going to be giving some things a re-listen over time. Now I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to be focusing on next in terms of music, because I have got quite a lot of time to listen to it. And a, and a free Spotify Unlimited thing for a few more months, so... Might as well, right? Uh, yeah. I've been listening to it at work, because especially there's some days where I won't get like any phone calls at work, so it's like, oh, cool. I just kind of listen to music while I uh, work on machinery remotely. No. Ah. Yeah, I think I'm screwed here. Eight hundred fifty six, and I lost one life. That's not too bad. I got about a thousand down as a Horinger before I lost a life, and that's with the extra protection he has, so. Alright, um... Yeah, sorry, it's just kinda like when I when I play the when I play this these level three modes, it's gonna be like a lot of concentration mode going on. Wasting like too much time trying to get that. Yeah. Wow. You really need to like learn to just let it go. If it's gonna take you more than like a few seconds to get an air capsule and you're just heading for the goal. Just 
learn to let it go. Like I said too, uh, this mode, this game in particular makes it very difficult in the fact that you can't get an extra life while doing this. Normally in Mr. Driller games you get an extra life when you hit a certain score. Only one per level. It's only ever one per level, but... Ah, oh, that was way too early for that. Again, I should have just skipped that air capsule. and I'm stupid for making that mistake. Alright. Well, I probably got a thousand bits, though, so that's something. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, give it another shot. jumped up a square instead of jumping up. That's interesting. That's definitely what I wanted to do, not really. It's a very, it's like a rhythm game almost. That's how you mash the button, because you have to hit it like as soon as you hit the next block. Mr. Driller W on the uh, Wii had an interesting setup where every level had three variations, a seven block wide, a, a nine block, and then a 15 block. And then each stage has its own gimmicks too. Not like Drill Land's gimmicks where they're like completely different games, but um, they had like one was like, oh, there's a lot of white rocks or there's a lot of uh, the air drains really quickly or rocks are in a very specific pattern. It was pretty interesting. It wasn't, as, I mean, obviously not as varied as uh, Drill Land, but there was still a lot of replayability you could get out of it. And it was pretty cool. I mean, even if I'm losing bits, I don't, I don't care. Obviously not bit rate, no. <laughs> it's ridiculous how hard it is to be good at this. Like, you wouldn't think a, a, a puzzle game this cuddly and cute can be, uh, that difficult, but hey.
you should look up uh, this guy played through Mr. Driller G and getting to the moon in it. Not the moon, North Pole. It is uh, ridiculous how fast that game is. This game is nowhere near as bad as that. Too much time here. Just way too much time to spend in a single air capsule. for the next few minutes. No, but, no, but, uh, okay. Try again. Honestly, like, I can't... It's getting the... Oh, my God. I'm just, like, thinking about trying to get the excellent stamp on this is giving me, like, a heart attack right from the get-go. Just because it's like you have to do the whole thing, get every air capsule, and not die, ever. And it's like, Jesus. There are people good enough to do that. All things considered, I'm actually pretty fucking bad at this game. I love it, but I'm terrible at it. I knew that was gonna happen, and I let it happen anyway. Okay. It might be time to just, you know, try easy mode again. You know what? Let's try Usagi. Let's let's see if I can maybe cheese it out with Usagi. Again, Usagi's a cool character, not because it's like, he has a lot of advantages to using him, but at the same time, it's like, well, he's also very tough because of the tri-drill. That could easily cause a bad situation for you. And that was a mistake on my part. He definitely digs at Taizo speed. Digs at Taizo speed, moves at Ataru speed. Jumps two squares like Poochie. And try drills. The only thing he doesn't have is protecting himself from a hit. But I would say at that point, Usagi reaches like broken character territory. Go. 
for 2,000 meters. If I lose a life before I hit 1,000 meters, that's generally not a good sign. That means I should probably just pack it in and redo it. Because the second half is definitely way harder, so... Not very quick at air consumption either. I'm assuming he has Susumu's air consumption level. That's probably what I'm what I'm guessing here. Since Susumu has like the slowest one. This song's called Go with an arrow. It's like Go arrow, like with an arrow pointing right. Good. I haven't dropped any fall. I've dropped 100 frames, which is about, like, two seconds of stream. Uh, and I think that was just an internet blip. I don't think there was anything major going on there. The problem is that when an air capsule's all the way across the field in this mode, it's like, oof. It's a lot of ground to cover. Ah! This mode just feels arduous. Almost said that word right. Arduous. Like, the other mode is like, if you die, it's like, okay, I, it's a few minutes of time. Like, this mode feels like, oh, I died, like, a, a, a thousand, two hundred meters in. That is a lot of time wasted. Ninety-nine air. There was no point in waiting for that.
Anyway, I was thinking about what to stream next after Boktai. I actually already know what I'm going to do right after Boktai. I'm going to do later Alligator. But it turns out that game is, uh, not very long. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, a week stream. It's apparently going to be, like, two days worth of streaming at most. Maybe three. Um, so I had a couple idea other ideas. I had a couple games backlogged that I want to get to at some point this year. Um, nah, I shouldn't even bother with that. Um... But I also had the urge to play something else, and uh, I think I'm going to really enjoy playing it, even though it's, the game itself is not incredibly good. Without spoiling what game it is, I will say that it's a game on Steam that uh, that's being modded to be more playable than it, than it was. And it's from... Thus, the series that people say has had a rocky history in 3D. That should pretty much be an instant giveaway as to what it's going to be. Yeah, dig. Actually, I think any of the- you know what? This is really easy mode. I gotta say, Usagi makes this incredibly easy. It's too bad you can't use them in any other mode. stupidity in my arrogance I killed him No, oh, I forgot. Try drill. Uh, right after I spoke, too. And then I killed myself. Okay. Well, not even close to my record here. We'll give it another shot. We're 30 minutes into the stream, so... I'd say, like, 40, 50 is a good stopping point for this. Count either. I'm not paying attention now, clearly.
All right, never mind. Excellent stamp, not happening today. Yikes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Controller, please. It's a little high right now. Ew. 
always there. Always right in the same spot. It's always got to be at the 800 level. Where it's like too too close for it to be good. To like say like, okay, I'll just go ahead. But too far for me to say, I want to restart because it's not worth it. How long did it take me to get this far? And there goes the second life, one section later. Okay, well, we're officially on the how far am I getting before I die run. Aww, uh, it's, it's ass, man. It's ass. This is where the game becomes ass. And there we go. Three sections in a row. Stupid mistake on all of them. And that's how you don't play the game. Well, I think we got one more try in me for tonight, and then I'm uh, moving on to another attraction. Probably Drindy, so I could get frustrated again. The worst part is with the marathon ones, is you get so annoyed by how far you get, that then, like, you just fuck up afterwards. Like, I expect to die in Section 3 at this, at, at, at right now, because I'm just so, like, I want to rush ahead. I don't want to be here. I've already done this part. Oh! Section 2! Wow. I beat my own prediction with my own stupidity. I'm even stupider than I thought I'd be. Hey, it's all good. Let's give it another shot. It's like that tweet from Tyler the Creator about like <laughs> how cyberbullying even re real. Just look away from the screen. It's like haha. <laughs> how is dying in Mr. Drill even real? Just press the A button. I should tweet that out after the stream. It's very clever, witty, and will get absolutely no attention on Twitter because I have no presence. Very nice. Okay. Oh! A very dangerous game there. Doot, doot, derp, doop. 
I love how I'm like, I can hit such a stride. And then it's just like, no, never mind, you're shit. Hit pretty hard in the back there. It's like getting plucked. Light plucking. Oh no! Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Gotta remember, can't sideways drill when I'm on the bottom floor with Usagi. Because it counts as hitting the green block. again what is this what cosmic force is causing me to fuck up at this point every time I I feel like the game like wrested control of itself out of my hands and killed me there you like nah let's just make him stand there for slightly too long I, I oh my god ah oh, oh, every time Frustrating as hell, man. One to two sections later, there goes the second life. So the second life is like the pointless life. You're going to lose that one right away. You're never going to hold on to that one long enough for it to count. And then the third life is going to be either right afterwards, or you're going to get far enough that it feels the most devastating that you didn't get any further. This runs DOA at this point, honestly. There's no way I'm going to win. In the exact same way! Every time! Holy shit! Uh, it can't be me, it's gotta be the game, right? We're going again. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's gonna be the focus for tonight, I don't give a shit about Drindy anymore.
go, 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 go. No, Usagi, don't. It will soon be illegal, so whatever you do, don't. Don't! It will soon be illegal, so whatever you do, do, do not. If you're thinking about doing it, do not. Uh, my girlfriend got me a squishable for my birthday. Um, it just arrived, because it didn't come out yet when she ordered it. It just arrived on Saturday. It's a little mini Plague Doctor, and it has, like, a little lantern that glows in the dark. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. I love it so much, just like I love my girlfriend. I got her the Art of Spyro Reignited for her birthday, which, um, it's funny because I keep putting off streaming it. And like I said, I'm going to keep doing it because, uh, I have something else planned for Saturdays if I stream on them, um, for maybe like another couple weeks or so. What I might do is I might do long streams again. It depends on how I'm feeling. What I really should do is bring back Ring Fit at a hiatus, shouldn't I? Especially since it's on my stream schedule and I don't do it. <laughs> How many times have I heard this freaking song by now? Thank you. I'm a musical genius, I know.
No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, look! In section 9 again! In section 9 again! Every time! What the fuck?! What is going on?! Cool, how many sections do I lose the next life? One? Two? It's always in Brazil! I knew it! It's always Brazil! We're going to Brazil! This is the definition of you're going to Brazil. Also, when did that become a meme? That you're going to Brazil thing? Like, what? Like, I saw- the first one I saw was the Wario edition, where he's going down the... the warp hole, and it just says you're going to Brazil. <laughs> Officially a recovery mission again. This is a salvage job now. Right before a two-tone area, really? Oh, you suck. Usagi, I hate you. I hate you, Ninja Man. This is, see, this is what makes this even harder now, is that at this point, my air is going down so fast, it's almost like I have to grab each air capsule. Or I'm gonna lose a life at some point. Well, 
Don't that just beat all, huh? One forty-three. We need to get. We need to beat a level three before three a.m. Without items. Stop and breathe here, right? These runes on these uh, blocks, they look pretty cool. Alright, looks like there's only three per section in this mode. Which would make sense, because three times 20 is 60, so there's 20 bonus ones, yeah. Flames on the side of my face. Heaving, heaving breaths. Oh yeah, I kind of trailed off before with the whole uh, plushy thing because I mentioned my girlfriend got me one. Um, also, my frog car plush shipped from the completionist, so I'm looking forward to getting that. Probably will take like seven weeks to get here because you know our country is uh, actively fucking over the one part of it that actually worked, and uh, now it's not going to work anymore. Yeah. 
Hehe, <laughs> vote! It'll make everything better. Smiley face. Just vote, forehead! we in the biz call a chain reaction. If I do, damned if I don't, except unless I stand right here. Oh, here we go, disappearing block section. tunes. Yes. <laughs> well, it's that statue's on my reach. Expected to get to the end of this thing with all my lives anyway. A mook. I think those blocks are kind of red herrings, honestly. Crunchy boulder noises.
Yes. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. One, two, one, two, one, two. Almost made a dig dang down guy and fool of myself. Dang old fool. Be paying attention to my statue counts because I'll know when I can just kind of ignore all, go forward. If I go that way, I'm not going to be able to reach it. I have to dig around, dig around town, dig around town, dig around town. section. Dig through the pain. If I dig from over here, this will drop a block, but then, um... Oh, wait, no. That actually will help me out. Wait. <sighs> See that shit? Oh, shit. Alright, well, that was a bad idea. I deeply regret it. Actually, no, I don't. Never mind. It's perfect. Just gotta wait it out. And... Clean. Oh yeah, I love the song Speed of Light. Isn't this where I died previously? Ugh. Life on the fucking edge, baby.
razor's fucking edge. Okay, I think I can make a run for it after this. I'm very close to the end. I am upset that I'm this far and I haven't... I missed one statue that's gonna prevent me from getting the good. The good good. What?! Alright, never mind. We're good. I died. It's fine. Perfect, perfect run, successfully averted. And Spelunky 2 looks great. I don't know why people are complaining about it. Wait, if I break this block... Hmm... Things will happen. At 40. No! Why? Why though? But why though? Fucking cruel mistress, let me tell you. Look 
of this hot garbage. If I break any of those, it's gonna cause a disaster. Good and all, but now I can't get it. No, no, oh, oh my God. When did I start that run? Oh, this game is so fucking frustrating once you reach level 3, it's like no point. Come on, I beat one last time, I beat Horror Night House, I could do it again. Oh, oh god, 20 sections of this is way too excessive. There comes a point where it just stops being fun, and that's that's the issue here. Run. This is the run. Sometimes it bounces, sometimes it, there's like a weird like momentum to the blocks that doesn't always take effect and it's really weird. Sorry, I'm taking a, a brief breather here. Actually, I should take a sip of water. Hold on. I know there's a time bonus, but man, we ain't getting it.
ghost blocks. Queer and ready to cheer. Hey! Nice to see ya. How you doing? And I hope you enjoy the show. And by show, I mean the unmitigated disaster that's about to happen. <laughs> doing okay, kind of tired? Yeah, uh, I hear that. It's, uh, what, 2 a.m. over here? Oof. I, uh,. I need to pack it in after the stream. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Whoop. I mean, after a long day of work, what I need to distress is a very frustrating puzzle game that easily makes me waste 20 to 30 minutes of my time each attempt. <laughs> okay, first po uh, first run area. Just quickly move to this. Nice depth, 621. It's a good number. Climb. Here. Never seen this game before. This is um, Mr. Driller Drill Land. It's a game from. It's actually from 2002. It was on the GameCube, uh, but it never released in America. They just released it here on the Switch and PC uh, back in June, after an 18-year wait. Uh, it's pretty. This isn't the main mode. Like this is kind of a gimmicky puzzle mode that they added into it, which I'm enjoying it despite it being incredibly difficult. Uh, the main mode was, uh, it's like a lot of just, it's digging down, like I'm doing right now, just without this collecting statues and traps kind of thing. The main mode is a lot faster paced than this. This is much more of a puzzle mode. It's also very, very difficult. This up bad. Okay. Whew. Still need both tied three in the US? Hell yeah, we do. I don't think Capcom, not Capcom, I don't think Konami is going to be giving us a bulk tie collection anytime soon. I also feel like if we get a Mega Man Battle Network collection, it's going to erase all the bulk tie content completely, which will be the step back that no one wanted. Yeah. Sadly, all of... all of, We're never gonna get a sequel to Lunar Nights, either. That's, and that sucks, because that game ends on a cliffhanger. If you do the extra story. Oh, Lunar Nights. Pour one out for our boy. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me! Oh, well, there's the first fuck-up. How long till the second... Yeah, just like with Kami did. Well, then with Castlevania is that, you know, they don't have this... There's, there's no stigma behind... I don't know. It's it's kind of weird to think of Konami that way because the truth is they do care enough to let Nintendo use Snake in Smash, so... Who knows? Who knows what will happen with uh, Kojima's properties? Maybe we'll see a Lunar Nights 2 someday. Can't 
Oh, dude, I was doing so well, too. Ugh. <clears throat> oh, come no, don't do this to me. Oh, why? Yeah, oh, f you know what? Fuck this. Oh my god. Oh, no progress. Zero progress. This, this is frustrating me. To no end. We have four. I, I've gotten no stamps this stream at all. Oh. How many bits do I have? Like 20,000? Whoa, okay. I could buy the, um... The Hori Susumu clear figure. Wait, why didn't it sell out? Oh, it did, okay. So I'm just missing Undergrounder and DX Destruction Drill. Clear. Clear. He's beautiful. I love it. Why is his arm so big? His arm is really long. It goes down to the bottom of his feet. Susuma doesn't look like that in the game, does he? Yeah, I guess he kind of does. Nah, eh, not that big, though. Oh. Alright, let me show you the main mode. I need to unwind. I need to decompress here. Let me do level one of the normal mode. So here's the main character, Susumu Hori. Uh, the rule of the game essentially is just drill down. Press A, drill down. You run out of air gradually, so you want to grab that to make sure you get uh, air back. Uh, when four more blocks touch each other, they eliminate. If you get crushed by a block, you lose life. If you lose all your air, you lose a life. If you dig through a uh, X block, you lose 20% of your air. And grabbing an air capsule gives you 20% back. And since I'm playing on easy, I'm just digging through all of them. Uh, blocks connect together, so like... This red block will connect with those reds and then disappear. That green block will fall straight down. White blocks always fall straight down, they're just circles. So they don't connect to anything. And you essentially, after you reach the goal, which in this one is five sections, 500 meters, uh, you get points based on your time, how many blocks you've destroyed, um, how many air capsules you've picked up, if you have picked up all the air capsules in a level, and if you have all your lives or not. And yeah, okay, there you go. That's that's dying. That's not what you're, you're not supposed to do. Uh, you could also climb up one block by holding next to it. It's a puzzle game with an actual character in it that you have to take care of. <laughs> that's the best way of putting it. And also, I mean, this song's not the best example, but this game has a kick-in soundtrack. Also, no rolling blocks like that mode you just saw me play. That was just for that mode. Oh, it's not bad. I love the series. It's just hard as shit. Um, yeah, I'm not paying attention right now. Oh, they fixed the music! Oh, I just realized the patch, uh... 
There was a small patch for this game recently. And it, it fixed... It, I just noticed it fixed the weird instrument that didn't show up there. Because before, uh, when it hit that part with the violin, it would uh, be missing like a track to it. I'm so happy that got fixed. It also partially fixed one of the song translations that got translated badly. <laughs> Wow, what a mess. I am sucking ass tonight. I'm I'm clearly losing my grip on this game. This might be this might be where I stop streaming it. For, for good. By God, we're, we're beating one of the level threes tonight. We're beating one of the level threes tonight. I don't care which one it is. Every character has their own strengths and weaknesses. This is the only attraction where you can play as all the, all the characters, though. Every other one's limited to a single one. What's the main character's weakness? He's, he's too balanced. Well, that's the thing. He's balanced. He doesn't really have any strengths, but he's also... He doesn't have any weaknesses either. His air consumption's average. His move speed is average. His dig speed is average. Some characters dig faster, but use more air. This character's broken, but at the same time, he has a huge downside in that, uh... He creates large, like, avalanches around him because he digs three spaces at once. This character is the only unlockable, though, so he's a little more broken than the others, but he's still very, very much balanced in, in, a, in a way that makes it hard enough to use him. They recommend not using this character unless you're really good at the game, which I'm... Uh, not tonight, I'm not. Oh my god, really? Okay. Yeah, by the way, level 3 is 20 sections, so if, if I die in the first 5 or so, expect me to not continue. And just start over, because it is a big waste of time. It is hard. This is the hardest part of the game. Patience is just a lot, and you have a lot of patience. Yeah. It's... It, it's not so bad in the lower levels where it's only ten sections. It's like, okay, that was like five minutes that I have to redo. But, like, this is like, if you fuck up, it's like ten minutes worth of work you gotta redo. Especially if you're, like, a thousand meters in. Anyway, uh, I know what you're you're here for. Uh, you're here for Boktai. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow and Thursday will be Boktai. I think I'm not going to stream Wednesday. And then tonight's this. It's all good. Got only three sections in. Just 
just happen to be up and drop by to see what's up. Hey, no problem. I always appreciate it. about a game I might never heard of might consider getting. Oh, this one? <laughs> it's pretty cheap, I'll say that. And I think um, Namco does sales pretty often, so... If you're interested, definitely pick it. There's actually a demo on the Switch, and on PC, on Steam, too. You could play a demo of the game. I think the level one of the main, of this mode sister loves these kind of games. I found out about this game from one of my friends a long time ago. And uh, seeing them love it made me want to try it. Now here's the big question. Can I avoid dying on Brazil this time? a good way to kill time. It certainly is. Trust me, you, you won't be beating the higher levels of this anytime soon. It takes a lot of practice. And this character you don't even start with, so it's even harder because of that. Let me try to beat Boktai 1-2 with the stats of a level 1 Django. Oof. Do you use, um... Oh, wait, no. You, you just don't level up. That's right. You don't have to assign stat points. Uh, if you're wondering where I am right now, I'm about to go to Pirate Island in that game. So that'll be what I'm doing tomorrow. I haven't done any of the missions for the last two areas yet. The trees missions are hard as hell. I couldn't- I, I missed one enemy in the first mission and I couldn't figure out where to go. Pirate Island's your least favorite dungeon. Yeah, you told me. It's the, the worst for speedrunning. Ba -da -ba. Yeah, it's so long. The tree is long as hell, too. White Forest is nothing compared to the tree. Shit. White Force is your favorite dungeon? Uh, it's definitely up there. It's got some of the best music. Okay, we need to focus on air. I... 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 Every... I... It's always Brazil! Always! Going to Brazil. Always lose a life in Brazil. Always. Why? Yeah, because it's Brazil. <laughs> Hashtag, you're going to Brazil. I have no idea where that meme came from. Okay, we're in Spain. I guess I'm going to Brazil now, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, I have no clue. It's just a meme I've seen online, occasionally. I don't know if there's any sort of negative connotation behind it. Really hope not. I've heard Brazil's a really beautiful country. A 
it is. If you got the confirmation. Maybe I'll get to check- You've been there? Oh, nice. Maybe I'll get to check it out someday if, you know, if the fucking world stops being over. Drinking too many Coronas, yeah, exactly. Whoa, buddy. Keep thinking of Candy Crush and Pokemon Shuffle. Oh man, Pokemon Shuffle. I'm, I am not. I got. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of Pokemon Shuffle because it was the successor to Troze, and I love Troze, and Shuffle was just nowhere near as good. I was at the release party for Pokemon Troze on the DS. for a bit. Never played Troze. There's a version of Troze on the eShop for the 3DS called Battle Troze. It plays a little differently, but if you have a DS, I recommend uh, looking up a used copy of uh, the original Troze. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. If you like Yoshi's Cookie, you'd, you'd like it. Sounds tasty. That is an old uh, NES, Super NES, and uh, oh, uh, Game Boy game. Oh, it was on the GameCube too. In that one collection. Uh, I, I don't have the patience to do this again. I think this might be where I stop streaming, Mr. Drill. I think this will be the last stream of it, just because level 3 is like a give-up for me. The rabbit's supposed to be the easy character. Hope you're enjoying watching a grown man get mad at video games, because man, there isn't enough people like that in the world, right? You said rabbit that tricks are for kids, yeah, exactly. He's the tricks is uh, he's the tricks rabbit's shadow duplicate. He shadow tricks. We're running on two hours of this now. <laughs> it's hell.
What was hell was the first you get killed in one hit? Yeah. Too bad there isn't a percentage ring like in uh, Castlevania where it just gives you a percentage of health. It's like you could just take eight hits instead of uh, have HP. Where's the wall turkey? Yeah. No, you don't get wall turkey, you, you get nuts. Wall nuts. Hey! Haha, <laughs> I made it funny. Are you. <clears throat> this game, man, this game. I'm legitimately gonna be upset if I don't win, if I don't beat this. There's no reason I should be this bad. Nice nuts. Hey Kiwi, how you doing? Yep, you're gonna be seeing a lot of squishing going on. Oh man, no. He's gonna get squished like the Acme Anvil squishes the uh, Wily e. Coyote. Okay, we're in Thailand. Thinking those brown Xbox are chocolate? Uh, they are, actually. Funny you mention that. Where are they? Food produced by the undergrounders. They flooded the world with blocks when they forgot to turn off their production machines that were running at full power. Some say the red blocks taste like strawberry, the green like melon, the blue like blueberry, the yellow like banana, and the X ones like chocolate. That's a good question. It's because it's the Undergrounder's food. It's not actually chocolate. It just tastes like chocolate. <sighs> let's, let's do Journey Adventure again. I, I, I can't run fast-paced right now. As much as I want to rush, I can't. Man, I'm suddenly in the mood for salami, and we didn't buy any this week. Ugh. I've been getting, like, real, like, legitimate hunger at, like, 2, 3 in the morning lately. Kinda sucks. Okay. 19 to go. to go. If 
Finally beat MMBN5 today. Oh, nice. Uh, I did another, like, stream or two of it, and then I gave up. And I just resorted to showing everyone else's videos of it, because, uh... I'm gonna be honest, it gets really hard, uh, when you do the post-game. Nice. Good job. Battle Network 5 is probably one of my favorites, honestly. Uh-oh. Fuck this up. Battle Network 5, 2, and 3 are my favorites. 6 is very close, though. Just like it when it came to the Liberation Missions. Yeah, some people are mixed on those. I thought they were great because it really shook up the series a bit because it was something new. Um, I love the music for it too, but I know a lot of people aren't too fond of them. It, four and five in particular have a very odd structure to them where it's like... I like the idea that some of the enemies sucked, yeah. In the post-game it gets really bad. Um... It's accomplishing to finish them. You love 4. 4... Well, that's that's actually a really interesting thing, because most people don't like 4. 4 is kind of, uh... The black sheep of the series. It is good. Um... I will say 4 and 5 have a very odd structure to them, which makes them be... which makes them played differently. Whereas 1, 2, and 6... 1, 2, 3, and 6, you kind of just play through it once. You've only played 4 and 5. You've played so you've played like you've played an interesting duo of games in the series cuz if you play 1 through 3 and 6 you'll see that the setup of them is a lot different especially 1 through 3. 1 through 3 is a lot different from the rest of them. They're essentially split into two trilogies. Though 6 kind of gets more to the original style. Only found out about them from Boktai. That makes sense. 6 actually has a lot of Boktai stuff that was removed but there's a ROM with a patch that uh there's a ROM of the Japanese version that keeps all the Boktai stuff in while also translating it. The, star, the, the first Star Force game is also getting a DX patch that adds in all the uh, Lunar Knights content as well. the Kuro 5 demo. I'm gonna be honest, I've completely avoided playing Kuro 5 or um, MMBN Chrono X or any of those spin like fan games just because I'm like, I want to play them when they're finished. I saw the new update for the Kuro 5 demo. It looks really nice. Oh, you... I, uh... uh. Do I even continue now? MMBN area looks awesome. Yeah, it does. close. Everyone keeps telling me I need to try it. I might show... I don't know. I'm, I'm like considering showing it off on stream, but also I've... My streams are kind of already packed for the next several weeks in terms of what I want to do. Waiting. Oh, 
Oktai 3 next two dungeons are very long. Yeah, Dark Castle's pretty long. But they're also the last two. Because, I mean, after that, there's only the one dungeon, and it's mostly story-related with some some fighting in it. I'm pretty close to the end. I'll probably finish it in another two or three streams. Assuming I don't go back and, like, do all the missions and stuff. Are there missions for the Dark Castle, or does it end at Pirate? Uh, Pirate Island. You hate the elevator part of the Dark Castle. I can't remember it. There's a lot about Bulk Tide 3 that I don't remember. Dark Castle has missions. Shit. Alright. I know Mahabora doesn't have any missions, because once you beat it, your file gets, like... Y you get sent to New Game. New Game Plus. Lunar Paradise Mahabora. Man, I sure hope no one who's watching VODs of this was working through it in order and, uh... Got, got spoiled by the rest of Boktai 3. <laughs> It's almost 15 years old, what would you expect? True, true, but also remember that most people didn't play it because it didn't come out in America. So people might... Who knows? Years from now, someone might be watching one of my VODs and watching it for the first time. I highly doubt it because my VODs get no views, period, so... Not my VODs, my uh, uploads. I mean, the VODs also don't get views. I don't get a lot of views in general. I'm not very entertaining, you see. Except when I do the funny scream noises. Hope that there's multiple endings and none, and none of them Trinity dies in. Yeah. The thing that always the thing that always struck me is cool about a weird weird and cool it's very Kojima ish that uh the bad ending the worst ending of Boktai three is uh the one that leads into Lunar Nights. Cause Trinity's uh Trinity's the uh, related to the characters in Lunar Nights, right? So that the only so that only Django survives. So the one that only Django no Django doesn't survive in that one because he's the legendary warrior. Or maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. Guess I'll just have to finish replaying it. Worst ending. Oh, so th yeah, right. That's it. There's four endings. It's use dark more, don't hit Sabata. Use light more, hit Sabata. No, but the thing is, Lunar Nights is based off the the ending where you die because there's another ending. There's a bad ending when you're fighting Ratatosk. If you fight Ratatosk, if you and die during it, you you get an ending. Nope. I'm pretty sure you do. Aw, oh, see, now I'm gonna have to test this out. Now I'm all sorts of fucked up, because now I don't know what to believe my s anymore. Why did I do that? Oh my god! Run ruined. Yes. Yep, run ruined. 
Uh, eat the entirety of my ass game. Oh god, do I really want to do this over again? It sucks because no matter what game I go for, it's it's gonna be long. Uh This is torture. This is a layer of hell. It sucks too, because like this game is so fun up to this point. This is where it just gets annoying and sad and hard. And I and I act like a big baby all the time, even though I'm in my goddamn thirties. Um oh, This game is making me steamed. Oh, that was unfair. Come on. Come on. What was that? Okay, here we go. This is the run. Not even... <sighs> There's something cool that could happen during the boss. Was it Trinity dying? Because, uh... That happened to me. I let Trinity get spiked to death. <laughs> Found it amusing. It is amusing. Damn, that nearly split my ass in half. You don't like Trinity? It sucks because he's so important to, uh, the plot. The overarching, uh, Boktai plot. always annoyed me. I mean, he's an annoying kid. There's something you come to learn that's like, little kids in video games are often very annoying. Just like in real life. You have five younger sisters. Wow. This game is great. Really, it's great. It's oh, it's so fun. Oh, I I don't know why I can't do this. Trying oh, Draga is gonna take forever. I'm not bothering with uh, Draga is gonna be a whole stream of me just trying to get that. All right, let's try the easy mode. Want to do a crossover battle sometime? Um, I'm assuming you mean in a uh, six and uh, book tie D and book tie three. Um, maybe if we could get it running. I I don't have um I have Hamachi and I have the the special whatever it is the thing needed to do um wireless battles, but I've never tried it because originally I was gonna do because Battle Network six. It's a lot of um, competitive multiplayer matches since it's the only one that uses the wireless adapter and that's the only technology that can be emulated. So I have that set up, but I don't know if um, I I've never tried it here in the server. Oh, nice. I actually went to the N1 Grand Prix uh, meetup back in 2018. That's how I learned about uh, professional or rather competitive Battle Network 6. Bone. 
He'd stick his ass in the air. Whoa, that was loud. It's funny because some of the Mr. Jeweler games were dubbed into English, just not this one. Are you a missile or a pencil? I am a robot. A drill. He's a drill robot. He's a drill bot. His special ability is that, uh, he- I guess he uses air a little slower, but his main special ability is that he can survive being crushed once per life. If he gets hit, uh, if he gets crushed, uh, he loses his head, but then he can still keep going. He's very slow, though. He looks like a pencil. Have you ever played Advance Wars 2? There's a, a commanding officer in that game who's holding a, a tank shell, and I always used to think it was a giant pencil. If you haven't, it's a fun game. If you like uh, turn-based strategy games, Advance Wars is pretty good. Ever played Advance War? It's actually a very old series that in, that was always Japan exclusive. You love Fire Emblem? Oh, it's a, yeah, it's the same people. It's Intelligent Systems, which is why they don't make it anymore because uh, Fire Emblem is now their money maker. <laughs> I do miss Advance Wars. I would love another one, but I know it's never going to happen. Newer games are bad. I haven't played Three Houses yet. I was going to, but uh, other stuff came up. Three Houses is very good, surprisingly. Good to hear. My brother might get it, so I might play it at some point. Don't even own it. You've played it. It's perfectly fine. I'm not going to own it either. My brother's going to buy it. No! Ah, oh, fuck. There goes my head. Wow. It's it's like a it's like the rule is like I have to lose the head early before I hit watch, I'm still gonna die in Brazil. Watch. Japan is easy mode, and then I'm gonna get to Brazil and I'm gonna get fucked up. Uh, yes, USA. A guy wearing a new I Love Heart New York shirt, and then a, uh, and he's holding a hot dog. Truly, the best representation of our country. No, really, that's probably as good as the representation of our country can be in this game. Everything else would be way too negative. All right, here we go. We're we're in Brazil. Supposed to be negative? No. It's just cutesy. I knew it! <laughs> Fuck! Every time! This game is fucking garbage, let me tell you. Sorry, no it's not, I love it. Wait till, wait till uh, Super Ross World comes out and I stream that. That's going to be torture. Um, 
super rubber rocks world. Let's try saying that five times fast. Something streaming Battle Network. Oh. oh, you're not streaming Battle Network because you don't you suck at it. Fuck. Oh, this is torture. It was easier when I was using the harder character. I've lost half my health so far. So I've lost a life and a half. Okay, can't get that. Gotta move ahead. Wasting too much time. It's 3 a.m. This is my last run regardless. Oh, that sucks. Actually, no, I'll go for 10 more minutes. He's not eating, he's drilling them. There's actually a whole lore behind this. If, when they're drilled, this little bacteria uh, suck up the pieces of it. Which is why there's the... Got a fucking... Got a fucking man. Fucking... 1200. Puzzle game with lore, yep. Uh, the main character's father, have you ever played the arcade game Dig Dug? The main character's father is supposed to be the guy from Dig Dug. <laughs> He's in the game, it's Taizo. He's my favorite character. Never knew his name. That's because he only got his name from the series. I forget what his name means because their last names, their, the character's last name is Hori, which means dig. And I know Susumu's name is I want to dig. Like, that's literally what his name translates to. And I forget what Taizo's uh, first name translates to. Yes, they did fix the music. I'm so surprised. I didn't realize that they did that. Originally, some of the song was mixed weird in this version, and the patch fixed it, apparently. Why did I immediately kill myself? What 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 was my controller doing? G cool controller. Fucking Oh. I have time for one more run. Both are I want to dig. Oh. All right, here he is. Here here he is. Here's Taizo. He's not blue like he is in a uh, Dig Dug, but He's cool. He's got a beard. This is also implied to be way after Dig Dug, like before he had a kid. It's a pun on Hori Taizo, yeah. Hori Taizo. His skill is that he could dig super fast, but he also uses air up really quickly, so.
recently gotten to Beyblades again. <laughs> I have never, I have never touched Beyblades, ever. I was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid growing up. Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And dead in three sections. Never did anything with Yu-Gi-Oh! Always wanted to. It was a fun series. I'm not into any of that now, honestly. I don't have time to be into card games. Very bad card games unless it's poker. Hey, that's not a bad game to be ba good at. Why, though? What? That was that was me being stupid. I, why am I not good at this? Where did my skill at this game go? I, I don't care anymore. I've died twice. Who gives a shit? At lunch, school at lunch, you gambling. Oof. Don't get addicted to that. I... holy hell, I did two and a half hours of me losing. I didn't even get close in any of them. ANY OF THEM! Oh. Spent hours on the slot machines and Pokemon. Hey, good shit. Can't find those anymore. Don't have enough to buy anything. You memorize the slots? I used to be able to get a triple seven on them pretty easily. No cards left. Matadozo. <sighs> Lots of ice beam TNs. Nice. I don't. I can't. I. My pride is not letting me. When they weren't infinite use, yeah. Nowadays you got the TRs instead. I didn't even try Star Driller. <sighs> I can't. I gotta stop. It's ten. It's three ten. I gotta eat something and go to bed. So I can wake up on time for work tomorrow. This stream... Oh. The sad thing is this isn't the worst Mr. Driller stream I've had. Yeah, the sun ain't shining down here. I'm through 500 meters underground, which makes it weird that there's a skybox. Also, I found out you could do this if you press L and R. And also, you could do this. That skybox is fake, by the way. They're, they're underground right now. Sun will rise tomorrow. Yes, it will. And then I'll play. Uh, I'll play Book Tide Three tomorrow. But uh, I am gonna. I'm gonna shove off for the evening. Whether it be black or red. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll do Book Tide tomorrow night. Probably start around midnight. Uh, go till three. Wednesday I'll probably not stream. Thursday will be more Boktai, Friday be Smash. Saturday I might do something during the evening. Don't know. Uh, sure. Don't... Don't stress yourself out, though. <laughs> Thank you for trying, but... If you can't be here, don't worry about it. Uh, you have a good night. And, uh, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>